the best and the worst of virtual reality is on show in this mixed bag of showpieces. However, PlayStation VR Worlds is a necessary addition to your PlayStation VR lineup. And it's not just because of its namesake or because it has a varying palette of experiences, but it's because it contains several quintessential wow moments that go some way to justifying that hefty £350 price tag. Like being descended deep into the ocean and coming face to face with spectacular subterranean scenery. There I am, sat on the sofa, gazing all around me, openly gawping and exclaiming profoundly like I'm five years old all over again. For just a single moment, I'm immersed in a game in ways I haven't felt in years. And it's not a particularly interactive experience. I'm merely turning my head left and right to see what I can see, a guide wittering on in my ear. Yet I catch myself holding my breath for longer than necessary, an overly long smile fixated on my face. The only time I felt this connected to a virtual experience is expensive 4D experiences at theme parks. That inaugural moment with PlayStation VR World will stay with me for a very long time. But you can also have some fun with the game as well by playing something called Danger Ball. It's a simplistic turn, a hybrid of air hockey and pang, where you use your head to move the paddle and try to get the ball past an AI opponent at the other end. You're staring down a narrow tunnel which creates a really unique 3D effect and depth of field, and the opponent to the other side has various different capabilities and effects, such as a larger paddle which you need to chip away at, and a tendency to go for spin shots. Considering the simplicity and familiarity of the game, there is a great sense of satisfaction in progressing through the tournament stages and finding a way to breach for enemy defences to get that all-important score. Unfortunately though, the ugliness of VR does rear its head in VR Luge, which is a toboggan bobsleigh game where you're surfing up and down hilly roads, avoiding passing vehicles and other obstacles. It's okay to begin with, you tilt your head to move left and right, till you're skirting around corners and bouncing off the road, jolting suddenly at high speeds, jerking you around as you go. The game not only feels limited, but the dizzying effects it gives off make it hard to stick with. And ultimately it's a rather forgettable and certainly does give off the impression of being a tech demo. It certainly wouldn't replace Drive Club VR anytime soon. Scavenger's Odyssey sort of falls somewhere in the middle. The good news is it makes for a great Metroid Prime themed sci-fi shooter where you leap between planets, aim with your head and pull away debris that obstructs your path, all while telling a minor narrative. The bad news? Tilting, 360 jumping around while also moving your head up and down to blast things gets pretty destabilising and disorienting very quickly. If you thought VR Luge was rough, this will twist your brain inside out. But fortunately we saved the best till last. The London Heist is a full narrative driven experience that presents multiple different scenarios for you to interact with. I'm not going to spoil anything in this video, but you play the role of a gangster who is involved in a major bust. You get involved in full blown shootouts, have to solve puzzles and find clues by finding hidden areas as well as getting involved in car chases. You can even sit in an old British pub and light a cigar smoking rings around the faces of your cohorts. If the ocean descent presents the wow moments you've been looking for, London Heist gives you a glimpse into the incredible future we have in store from VR games. All in all, it's a fantastic package and it needs to be seen to be truly believed and with various score attack modes and challenges, there's even some longevity to be had here. Even the more intense experiences have flashes of brilliance and fun. Basically, if you own PlayStation VR, then VR Worlds really does need to be on your radar. It's the marquee title for the hardware, as it offers some of the finest examples of virtual reality gaming on the market today. Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and what you've been feeling about VR Worlds, PlayStation VR in general, and VR gaming. Are you actually considering getting a VR gaming? Are you not interested in VR gaming? Give us your thoughts. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you next time.